Hello, my name is Jim Bettinati, and I'm an interventional radiologist. I practice at the Miami Cardiac and Vascular Institute in Miami, Florida. I'm this year's uh, scientific chairman for the annual meeting, and next year I'll be the annual meeting chairman. This meeting, we have a lot of new and exciting topics, and we think that we can reach out to a lot of the interventional radiologists practicing throughout the United States. Some of the hot areas this year have to do with women's health, and we have a special uh, initiative to focus on issues that have to do with uh, women's health, such as fibroid embolization, pelvic congestion, and the way peripheral vascular disease affects women specifically. We have a big focus also on venous disease, and we are, as a society, currently uh, getting more and more active in treating uh, varicose veins and, and chronic venous reflux. As you know, this is very debilitating for a lot of patients, and this provides us an opportunity to really interact and impact on patient lives and improve their health and well-being. One of the real hot topics of this year's meeting has to do with carotid stenting. This is a topic that's been hot in both cardiology and surgical arenas for a long time, and, uh, and as interventional radiologists, we want to be on the forefront of carotid stent technology and with carotid stenting procedures. We've had several special focus symposiums and plenty of plenary sessions dealing strictly with carotid stents. And all the latest and greatest with the new trials that are being done um, are, are here at the meeting and all that data is being presented. Abdominal aortic aneurysms are currently being treated throughout the United States with endograms. Interventional radiologists have been active in the development and design of endograms have been active in numerous clinical trials. At this meeting, outcomes of endografting are being presented, and the other area that's very important to intervention is how to treat, treat the complications of endograft. Management of endo leaks and endograft complications are something that we're very active in as a society, and one can learn quite a bit at this meeting about these, about these issues and the best way to manage them. Many interventional radiologists are looking for alternative practice uh, patterns. And one of the new concepts that's being explored at this meeting is taking interventional radiology to outpatient and freestanding office settings. We've had special symposium dedicated to, to helping radiologists design and create uh, pra new practices that can tailor their needs. Some of the ideas that we have, for example, are creating our own freestanding interventional centers and taking interventional radiology um, into these centers so that we aren't confined by some of the traditional limitations of the hospital. We have a big need in our society and in, in, in the medical community to deal with stroke management. Stroke management is one of the hottest topics uh, in, in intervention. This is a, an area that in the past has been primarily done by neurointerventionalists, but more and more general interventional radiologists are getting into stroke management. At this meeting, one can learn techniques to manage stroke, catheter uh, therapies, and one can also learn indications uh, for this type of procedure.